Okay, YouTubers, just wanted to shoot a quick video. Uh, I believe my Carolina Reaper season has officially come to an end. Just wanted to show the last of my harvest. Um, I picked what is probably going to be the last of my peppers. The ones that are still on the plants, there's maybe, I don't know, maybe five or six. They're still either green or they're still ripening. But uh, this is going to be pretty much the last of my harvest. I don't know how many is there. Probably several hundred. I think I've already got these sold. I've got a gentleman that contacted me today wanting some and hoping to meet up with him probably later in the week. Luckily, my plants did survive the cold snap that we had a few weeks ago. Uh, I moved them into the garage because we were supposed to get temperatures down into the low 30s and I was afraid that the frost would kill my plants. And, uh, and kill what uh, was still on them. But moved them into the garage for a few nights, set them back outside, and they did survive and was able to make one last big harvest. It's actually been pretty warm today. It's been kind of cool in the mornings, but uh, afternoons have been fairly warm. I went hiking earlier this morning, or earlier today, at uh, Natural Bridge State Resort Park in the state resort park in the uh, eastern part of Kentucky um, had a jacket on when we first started our hike and then once we got to the bridge uh, it was so warm that uh, my jacket was off and it's been warm pretty much the rest of the day my girlfriend was able to pick a few from her plants too she didn't have as many plants as I did I think I had a total of 41 I don't I don't know how many she had she was able to harvest a few. That's pretty much the last of my peppers. Take a quick walk outside. At this point, my plants have pretty much been stripped clean. Kind of sad, but uh, man, what a season. I couldn't have imagined back in April when I set these plants out uh, what my season would bring so much good stuff has happened this year uh, won a second place ribbon at the uh, county fair with my Carolina Reapers they weren't even ripe and they were green and then a month later in August went to Louisville entered them in the state fair and won first place the first time I'd ever competed in the state fair and my Carolina Reapers won a blue ribbon. I was absolutely blown away by that. Still kind of in shock. And uh, already dreaming about uh, about next season. I've already got some uh, Carolina Reapers that have sprouted. I've got some bootlers that have sprouted. I've got uh, some Tabascos that have sprouted and I've already got those in my red solo cups. I haven't got my Reapers or my bootlers in the solo cups yet. But uh, I'll get those in the solo cups here probably i don't know maybe in another month i want to thank everybody who has bought from me this year anybody that's bought seeds anybody that's bought plants um all the people that have bought peppers from me thank you thank you thank you uh, you all uh you all have my uh, heart heartfelt thanks and i will be selling more next season already dreaming of next year looking forward to the kentucky state fair in 2025 uh, I competed in just one class this year. Next year, I'm going to be competing in several. I'm not 100% sure exactly what I'm going to be growing yet, uh, but I'm going to have several entries in the Kentucky State Fair in 2025, including Carolina Reapers. I will post a follow-up video to my last video where I'm trying to germinate the uh, Carolina Reaper seeds on the dash of my truck. Uh, I will post a uh, follow-up video to that here in a few days to let you know the results of that. Uh, if you haven't checked out Pat's Pepper Wrap, <laughs> be sure to check that out. Just search through my videos for Pat's Pepper Wrap if you haven't watched that one yet. It's uh, it's pretty funny, and my girlfriend and I had a, had a blast making that one. But uh, I think this is, uh, this is probably the official end to my season, at least as far as the harvesting goes. I've, I've got about the last of the peppers in so now 
it all moves inside with the uh, germination and the repotting. And I will try to post some videos of that as well. Please comment, like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And uh, stay with me on this pepper journey. Uh, as I mentioned in the previous video, I will have some surprises coming up here in a few months. You don't want to miss that. I, I'm not going to reveal what it is just yet. But uh, I, I, think you'll, uh, I think you'll enjoy it. So stay tuned and uh, thanks to everyone for watching.